Hey guys, Jeff Seal here. One of the first jobs I got when I moved to New York was as a bike messenger. And that's where I learned a very important lesson about New York City. It doesn't matter if you're on foot, on bike, or in a car, the same rule applies. It's not who legally has the right of way, it's whoever doesn't stop who has the right of way. New York City is basically one big game of chicken. But we all know that cars usually win that game only because they can turn us into street pancakes whenever they want. Cars have ruled the streets of New York City for too long. So today, that ends. Instead of pedestrians being afraid of cars, cars are gonna be afraid of pedestrians. Come with me. Ow, oh, mother Excuse me, sorry. Let's go this way. Sorry. Let's see what the cars themselves have to say about this. Excuse me, sir. Interview, just for a second. Excuse me, ma'am, just a question. Excuse me, sir. One quick question. Sucker. This lady inspired me to go bigger. Stop, stop. Question. I have a question, sir. What you're doing right now is illegal. Did you know that, sir? It's illegal. What you're doing. Can I interview you really quickly? Do you know that what you're doing right now is technically illegal? What's illegal? You're supposed to yield to the pedestrian, but you went through anyway. You can make it, you got room. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. You're supposed to yield to the pedestrians. We had the right of way on that one. I know, but if it's nobody is crossing. I was crossing, my friend. You almost hit me. You now you're holding up traffic. Now you're holding up traffic. Do you know that what you're doing right now is technically illegal? You're supposed to keep the crosswalk clear. Everything's illegal. Also, did you know that on average once every two hours a pedestrian is either injured or killed by a driver in New York City? That's a hell of a stat. Did you feel personally guilty for that? Oh, hold on one second. Can I interview you? I can interview you? Another question. Did you know that cars are single-handedly the biggest cause of climate change? That I do not know, but that, that's- Do you feel guilty about that? Nope, I feel guilty you about- don't. I feel guilty about nothing. Also, you were texting. That's illegal. Have you ever hit anybody? No, no, don't jinx me. Have you ever killed anybody? But not in a car, just like in general. No. You've never killed anybody? No, technically no. Okay, all right, just checking, thank you. Don't hit this person. All right, it's time to step it up a notch and use my homemade horn. This is my friend Mark Klebe connecting an actual car horn to a nine volt battery for me. It's <laughs> so loud. Sorry. It says walk. It says walk. Why? Oh, slow it, Uber. Slow it. Huh? I said we got the right of Exactly. That's what I'm telling him. He's a baby. It's a baby carriage. Oh, hey, oh! This guy was walking. It says walk. Cars. Can I help you? I have a horn that I can use well. Is this school bus good? Cue the random guy playing a trumpet. Thank you. And sing. Time to step it up another notch and bullfight some other fucking cars. Here's my main beef with cars. Why are our cities still shackled to these obsolete gas guzzlers. One third of Manhattan is given over to cars. Imagine what we could do with all that free space if we'd liberated the streets from the automobile. NYPD, NYPD. That'd be sweet. Well, a girl can dream. Go easy. What a dick. I couldn't agree with you more, my fine feathered friend.
had a lot of calls from people that were like, oh, smell in the middle of the street, jumping in front of traffic, doing this, that, and the other thing. Oh, okay. So, what exactly were you guys filming or doing? A video about uh, uh, traffic safety. Okay. Yeah. And, all right. It's part of, you know, Vision Zero. Yeah, I understand that. It'd be very ironic if you were trying it would to be... do this and you got And cut. I got hit. No, I know. So please. There are smarter ways of going there is. about doing there it. There is. Much You're safer, all yes. that. But please, guys, get home safe. Thank you, sir. Have, have a good one. Thank you. All right. So we'll definitely call that a day. Well, dear viewer, I encourage you to find your own way to resist the powers that be. As you can see, if you want to stop a car, all you have to do is stand in front of it and wear a stupid costume.